What's up guys and welcome back to this YouTube vlog and today I am back in the fields once again or in this countryside. You know this is the fourth time that I'm going to the fields area or the farm and of course the same place and I don't even know if I'm going to go elsewhere but maybe in the future I will but for now this is where I'm at and this is actually Ramadan edition of me going to the fields because of the fact that we're still in Ramadan and I actually and I still got a bit of free time so I decided why not go to the fields why not go to the farm and explore like what's going on right now because last time I did it in February you know I had free time like off from school and I was able to make a video about it so there you go of course I made three of those three videos of me in the fields in the countryside so for this title it's gonna be me in the fields and countryside number four from another edition because I'm going on Ramadan so this is where I'm at right now and I'm gonna give you guys an update on what's going on around this area and see if we got any cool things in, in, in here so anyway so let's get to this enjoy this video okay so here's the updates like I promised and check this out look at that this land is basically almost empty that's because we're in April and the spring has already started so that's is why we have to like take everything out you know so we can be able to eat it so we can be able to grow new stuff and this is what we got probably all this I'm guessing it's a bunch of lettuce and stuff and probably it's gonna be okra also known as pemia in Arabic so that's probably what's gonna grow you know over the summer which hopefully I'll get a chance to show you guys in the future so stay tuned for it if I can make it but anyways this is what you guys can see you know pretty cool stuff and we still have the green stuff you know that you put in for the salads and the mushroom and stuff it's still there and we got the stuff for for the farm animals like I said let me briefly show you before I show you even more there you go this is this is the stuff for the green stuff <laughs> the green stuff for the mashi and the salads and stuff so this is what we got here we got even more and there you go this is the green stuff for the farm animals hopefully it is because I don't want to say anything wrong in this YouTube video so I'll show you and of course we have the canal this is what water goes through from the water machine and you can see it looks like it's somewhat wet that's because water was running previously you know before I came here so this is what we got here I'm not sure what this is but it's definitely growing fortunately guys I don't want to be able to go all over the place because there is vegetables growing in and I don't want to mess it up so don't mind me just gonna show you guys like this walking on the side so so I don't ruin anything so there we got green stuff growing in this looks like lettuce is growing in and maybe cabbage I don't know if cabbage is growing in the summer but all I know is that it grows in the winter and look at the difference here this is bright green and this is like darker emerald green kind of thing this is what it looks like here looks like we got corn growing which that's not gonna happen until the summer so this is what we got look at that looks like we got lettuce growing in and lettuce does grow in April you know I remember at that time like a couple years ago I eat lettuce and it was good fresh lettuce from the farm and especially that's good for the skin is definitely ideal you should consider eating more green stuff it's good for the health and it's good for the skin it's good it's, in general it's, it's a really good thing to eat so yeah we got the lettuce growing in which is really nice we have more cabbages which we're gonna have to pick it out because it looks like it's already done more. and we have more of that growing which is really cool so we got the lettuces the cabbages and so on and everything else it looks like we're doing a bit of work here that's because we're gonna grow more stuff so we got the lettuces the cabbages which is really nice and put it in perspective in perspective you can see the difference in the colors 
the lettuce is a brighter green, brighter spring green, while the cabbage is, is a bit of a darker, like, emerald green. So, this is what we got here, and you can see all this land, and we got more cabbages growing. So, uh, yeah. Just focusing for you guys. And of course, you got the water line where, or you call it the canal. So, uh, yeah. That is me showing you guys the fields or in this countryside. And as you can see on the other side, the dirt looks like it's it's already been wet. That's because we're like watering the crops and making sure it got enough water and sunlight so we could be able to grow it. So that's what you can see here. And of course, green stuff is growing in. And look at the dirt. It has so many cracks on it. That's because the dirt is drying up after you water it. So this way you guys can see here. <coughs> Pretty interesting, and I have to be honest. It's pretty interesting stuff, and I like the fields, I like the countryside, and it definitely has some benefits. So, there you go, you can see the cabbages. You know, pretty good stuff. Show you guys again. There you go. This is the, the lettuce and the cabbages, and like I said, to put it in perspective, the lettuce is brighter green, and the cabbage is a darker emerald green. So this is this here, this is what you have. And again, definitely doing some work around here. Definitely working on on growing new stuff, especially growing new crops. <clears throat> so that's why we got to do this work. Like we use a like shovel thing, like like the tool you use for farm work, you know, so we can be able to grow crops and we can be able to be able to eat, you know, that's why we need the farm work. So, and you got this big old white brick, that's what we have in Egypt, we have those white bricks. Yeah, really interesting stuff guys. Of course, before I go, this is where you guys can see, this is the, the dirt is still wet, you can see it's still drying up. And we got green stuff growing in, like it's no longer just plain dirt. And over here, like what you guys can see in front, is the green grapes that's growing. Which is really interesting, I like grapes. Especially, it's a healthy snack. Fact is that grapes grow in the summertime. You know, I never see grapes grow in the winter. You know, I never see in the winter, but I do see it in the summertime. Just like I see watermelon, eggplants, peppers, okra, also known as pemia, and so on. And even corn as well. You know, I see corn, like, grow in the summertime. And, you know, I see, like, in the fall, like, in October or November, like, they take out the corn so we can be able to, to eat it. Or we can use it for, for the wella, also known as the fire, you know what I mean? So, this is some really cool facts I learned. So, that is it here, guys. So that is it for this YouTube vlog. Thanks for watching. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, this is the fourth time that I'm in the fields or in this countryside. And you guys got to see the updates. You guys got to see we're doing some work around here, you know, because we're going to go grow some new stuff around. And yeah, this is what we're doing right now. So there you go. I got to show you guys the updates. And you saw in one part that it's not just clear land anymore not just clear land of dirt it's now we have stuff growing in it and the other parts you can see the dirt is kind of wet that's because we were watering it so we can be able to grow it because you know like i said crops need plenty of water and sunlight you know any plants need this you know it depends like how much they need some some they need a little bit some they need a lot you know for it to grow and produce so there you go also, let me briefly tell you like what grows in the winter and what grows in the summer. In the winter, you know, lettuces, cabbages, and, and all this, so on, they grow in the winter. Now, I can't really remember exactly what grows in the winter. And also strawberries as well. Strawberries, apples, oranges, you know, they grow in the winter. You know, I never really see it in the summertime, but if you want to get it, you can get it in the supermarkets. You know, so, yeah. In the summertime, okra, also known as pemia, grows, the eggplants, the peppers, the green grapes, the watermelons, and and so on. Even the corn as well grow in the summertime. And you guys got to see it. You guys got to see the, the updates on the fields. So, there you go. 
So that is it. Thanks for watching. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, share it to your family and friends out there. You know, please do because this helps me grow my channel. You know, I've said this many times in my outro. So yeah. So I'm going to end this video. You know, you guys got to see the fields and it is good that I got to put the free time to good use by going outside and going to the fields and, and so on. Anyway, so thanks for watching this video and of course I'll see you guys again in the next one.